Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my Patreons. And today I want to show you uh, this interview with, with one of my favorite people in the world, Kathy Wood, the co-founder and CEO of ARK Investment, who is a big, huge Tesla bull. And she uh, she goes on CNBC all the time and she made an interview, just show a snippet of it. Watch this and then come back. All right, joining us right now is Tesla Uber Bull, Kathy Wood, the founder and CEO of ARK Invest. Kathy, it's great to see you. Thank you, Becky. Happy to be here. Tesla is the top holding in several of ARK's funds. Yes. That continues to be the case? It does indeed. What have you thought about the news that we've seen? It seems like every week there's a new story that's either about Elon Musk or about Tesla. What do you think so far? What do you think of the Cybertruck? What do you think of the trial that, uh, that just uh, found that he was not guilty of defamation? Well, if uh, on the Cybertruck, uh, we've analyzed it from many different angles, metrics, and uh, it far surpasses other trucks. I mean, you saw the, the towing of the F-150. There was some uh, doubt about uh, the Cybertruck being, you know, the Uber truck that... that, that well, there were even questions when they saw the, it pulling the Ford F-150 saying yeah. because the slack was there, it gave the advantage to the car that started sure. out. Sure. Yes, we've done... Yeah. So Sam Corris, if, it, on, if you look on Twitter, you'll see uh, a number of charts that he's done comparing the Cybertruck to the F-150 and other trucks. There's just no comparison. You think that this is a, a... I guess that's a point, too, though. It's it's not necessarily a fair comparison. You think it's going to be people who would have bought a Ford F-150, or is this a brand-new market? For it's interesting. We did a uh, Google Trends analysis of uh, the um, excitement about the Cybertruck relative to the early days of the Model 3. And uh, what we're seeing is the excitement is in the areas you'd want it to be, in the Midwest, in the more rural areas. So uh, I actually think it's going to be a, a significant competitor to the F-150. What has to happen next in terms of Tesla and its shares? What are the next things people are watching? Because they've had some interesting, some strong earnings. They've done better than anticipated. There's a lot riding on this next quarter that comes up. But what, what are you kind of watching to prove, to say, hey, we were right, this is the way it's headed, and it's going, going to continue to go up from here? Well, there are four barriers to entry that uh, Tesla has, and I think now many more people are beginning to appreciate them. Their battery, the cost of their battery, much lower, so much lower than other uh, auto manufacturers that uh, these other auto manufacturers are going to have to sell their electric vehicles at a, higher at a loss no, or a higher price mm. or if they want to meet the competition Tesla uh, they'll have to sell at a loss as they are losing their internal combustion engine business so that's one moat uh, the second is their artificial intelligence chip this is like uh, Taking a leaf from Apple's book, when uh, Apple was pushing the smartphone market ahead much faster than Nokia, Ericsson, Motorola, uh, it, it designed its own chip, and the rest is history. What, what kind right? of market share do you think Tesla has to capture to kind of capture the kind of price that you've talked about over the years for where the stock could be? Well, to get to... So we have our bear price... Uh, five-year target is $700, and that uh, would be if they lost two-thirds of their market share and had no autonomous. If they lost two-thirds of their market yeah. share. So lost going from 17% of global EV sales down to six. And you're, and by the way, just so we're clear, you're measuring this on total EV sales, and you're considering that to be a separate even market. Even as the EV market grows, if they, if their market share declines, like so Apple they, did, right? right? right. Uh, but Apple but, but maintained so eighty percent of the profits. What, what did you say your business. price target would be in the bear case scenario like that? Uh, Seven hundred dollars, so a doubling over five years, which which meets our minimum fifteen percent compound annual rate of return. And, and that, but they have to. But you're saying uh, as a as a total share of the EV market, not the total share of the automobile Correct. market. Correct. Okay. So it has to be seventeen percent. No, 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 no. It's 17% now, yep. and our, our bear price says they'll lose two-thirds of that going to 6%. 6%. Our bull case, okay. our bull case uh, used to be yeah. that they would lose one-third of their market share going down to 11%. Uh, we are rethinking that because they have been maintaining that 17% market share mm. uh, over time. And so obviously she's talking about worst-case scenario. A worst-case scenario is that Tesla, um, the Tesla stock will go to $700 by 2024. And the worst case scenario, if they go to 6% of the EV market share in the world, 
six percent they're not 70 percent 17 percent around the world in the united states they're more than the, close to 70 percent of the ev market in the united states but around the world it's 70 percent. so this she said even if they go to six percent and they always keep adjusting their price they will go to 700 dollars uh, as a, as a stock and that is so incredibly interesting because she said that for the other companies like Toyotas and others to go into the EV world, they will have to sell it at loss, at a loss to be competitive because they're not advanced in battery technology. Okay, just give you one example and I'll end with this. If you look at the, uh, at the Jaguar IPES or the, uh, or the Audi e-tron, they have the same size battery and yet their range is almost a hundred miles less than a Tesla. This all have to do with aerodynamic, with battery, uh, with battery technology, uh, with the experience that they have in efficiency, in drag, in all those things that they have accumulated. Not, not to mention their tremendous data collection that is going to hopefully, I doubt it, but hopefully get them into a $4,000 um, uh, price uh, of the of the stock, and that's what Ark Investment is banking on. But even if that never happens and they lose market share to six percent, it will still go to seven hundred because of the tremendous amount of uh, uh, buyers who will adapt to EV. That's so interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Put your questions below, and I'll see you tomorrow.